Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the second video of swapping the interior to black on the tan E90. We already have the doors. Um, the floor mats look pretty shitty, but we're going to fix those today. We're actually going to dye them. In the last video, I had said I wanted to look for some plastic pieces to see if I could um, get more stuff for you guys to watch. So shortly after I dropped the second video, um, SD Garage hit me up again. They're like, hey, would you like to buy some seats? Some black E90 seats and I told him I didn't really have the money for that. I wasn't really trying to do anything like that. And he ended up telling me, hey, I'll give them to you for a hundred bucks. Um, front and rear. So I figured a really cheap way to make another video. Um, but I have a surprise for you guys. And first off, we're going to start off by removing these seats. I'm going to show you how to take off the stock seats. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So besides those seats, um, I was able to get... The black switches because last time at that he didn't give them to me but i found them in my car so we'll be able to change all of those black switches finally or at least three of them um i wasn't able to find the driver's side i believe the driver's side was gray which is why i ended up throwing it away uh or giving it away actually i gave it away to a friend so um yeah we'll switch those out as well today um let me grab the tools for this and then i'll show you how to take off the seats all right, so the first step uh, to removing these seats is gonna be to grab a T50. It'll look like this. Bam, I'm using an automatic ratchet to make it faster. And then uh, you don't wanna disconnect your battery just quite yet because I learned that the hard way. Um, you're not gonna be able to reach the bolts. You gotta kind of move the seat back and forth as you do them. So I'll show you pretty much. Let's start off here. So there's the driver's side. You wanna push it all the way back. Make sure you're loosening. Simple. Same thing with this one. Yeah, and that's the two front ones. Uh, for the rear, you just gotta push the seat all the way forward. All the way. If you have the E90, you're going to want to remove this, this seatbelt harness right here. Pretty much you'll pop this cover off. Removed it, um, you kind of just got to mess with the seat itself so that, that way it uh, loosens up as you need it to. Um, for this one, it's just going to be that T50 bolt right here. Again. Sweet. So you got the seatbelt off and now we can remove the back two bolts. Push the seat forward all the way again. Cool. We'll go to the back. Then we got this one and that one, which are gonna be super easy. All right, so after you have all the bolts removed, next what I like to do is fold the seat all the way forward, as far as it'll let you. See all the way back and this part all the way forward. So it's kind of like a, a V shape. It'll just make it easier to get it out of your car without scratching your stuff. You'll also be able to get all these bottom harnesses disconnected and whatnot. The first harness you're gonna wanna disconnect after you remove the battery is gonna be this one. Um, for right now, I don't wanna remove the battery. So I'm gonna go do the other C and then I'll come back to this after I remove the battery. Cool. So this one's already set up. This passenger seat should be exactly the same. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, I'm just gonna skip it because I don't think you need to see that all over again. All right, cool. So we have both the seats pretty much set up, ready to have these harnesses removed on both ends. That's pretty much all you have to do. Now we can remove the battery. After we remove the battery, you can come back, take off these harnesses, take the seats out of here, and they're already in a good position and be taken out. And then we can remove the back seats. So it's just a little 10 bolt on the top right here. Um, after you remove it, just kind of tuck it away to the side so it's not touching anything metal. And we're good. All right, so depending on what year E90 or E92 BMW, whatever you have, um, the harnesses might be a little different. Uh, I saw a black one the other day, just yesterday. Um, but they're all pretty much the same process. They're all gonna look the same. I believe E90 seats 
can fit inside an E92 just because they have a place for the seat belt to go. But E92 seats cannot fit in an E90 because then you won't have anywhere to put your seat belts on. Um, so just some food for thought. And then yeah, pretty much pull out this black tab. After you pull it out, it'll release the harness. And this is the only harness that's holding my seat down. So do that for both sides and then they're ready to be pulled out. All right, here's a video of me uh, taking the seat out and you can see how the V position works better. Just so you have an idea. Pretty much the seat's out, I'll vacuum all of this. I'm gonna wanna transfer the seat belts over. Um, same thing, just a little bolt right here. And then I'll show you what the wiring looks like in a second. For the seat belt, it's pretty much just gonna be this T50 right here. So after you take off that T50, um, you're gonna wanna end up following those cables and they'll turn into these gray harness. That gray harness and this black harness go inside of this black, this yellow harness. So yeah, after you disconnect it from there, you'll be able to pull it out. Mine looks like it's been cut before just because it has. Um, yours will look OEM, it won't look uh, cut up at all. So this one's pretty much ready to go. We can put this, clean up the seat and put it away. And then we'll go take care of the passenger side. All right guys, so we got these seats out pretty much. Starting to look pretty cool. Um, before I vacuum it or do anything to it, I'm gonna end up taking these seats out just cause there is some patches down here I wanna show you. Um, these bottom ones are extremely easy to take out. All you really have to do is pull straight up. And once it pops, they're good to go. I'll open the doors and I'll show you. Yeah. You just wanna stick the seat belts through here. Got the back seat out, all the seat belts are removed. Um, like I said, all you guys really have to do is pop it up, turn it around, and then you're good to pull it out. Yeah. Gonna vacuum this um, as well. There's some spots that I missed from when I dyed it that I wanna touch up on, or spray paint it, I mean. So we're gonna hit those as well. Um, but yeah, first we're gonna take off this. This back seat cover, we're gonna take this off as well. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So for this one, you're gonna wanna take the side things off first. Just pop them off like that, super easy. Um, we're gonna do the same thing for this side. Move the seatbelt to the side. And you're good. So next, after you removed the side panel things, you're gonna wanna get your T50 again. And here we go. Same thing on this side. Got your two bolts. Now. We got the other one out. This one you'll just put the side and lift and pull out. All right, cool. I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum and then uh, show you what it looks like after, and then we'll go ahead and dye it. Damn, I really want to switch this out. This looks like super bad. Uh, that'll be the next goal. Just getting like a black uh, center console. I think that itself will make the biggest difference besides maybe the headliner. Uh, but for right now, yeah. Let's get to it, keep vacuuming and keep going. Yeah. All right guys, it's been a few minutes or hours, I wanna say. Um, I went ahead and dyed the carpet already. So the carpet's already dyed. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna tell you that it's perfect, but it is a little bit better. You don't see the lines as much. Um, I probably could have used another bottle of dye because I've only used one. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it looks better than before. And honestly, I'm gonna end up using another bottle just to finish it and really, really get it nice and black. Um, but I'll do that once I find more of these plastic panels, just because they end up getting dirty when you're dyeing them. And they'd just be a lot better to just do it all at once um, if you're gonna do it perfect. Also wanna remove this center one and get a black one because that'll make the biggest difference. 
but yeah right now the dye is dying um the dye is drying <laughs> so i'm just waiting on that for a few it's probably gonna be an hour or two um i'm gonna grab the like a blow gun or something and try to get it all nice and warmed up let's show you what it looks like on this end so yeah i mean it, it fixed some of the issues um but here's just like some light as you can see so it looks pretty good it, it, i'm pretty happy with it to be honest um once the seats are back in here look a little bit darker and at night you won't even be able to tell to be honest um but yeah really happy with it but like i said i want to take some of these on when i do that i'll use another coat and this will be 100 percent and yeah gonna wait for this to dry and then i'll show you what i got for you kind of contemplating on just making a rear seat delete um i know i won't be able to finish that today but i like, i'm pretty sure i can finish it by tomorrow um so for right now i think i'm gonna put in that passenger seat and then the driver's seat get you guys excited for that and then uh see if i still feel like throwing those rear seats in or see what uh what inspires from there all right so i got the race seat in um it ended up being the driver's side and i already wired the seat belt on so the seat belt's right there it's bolted onto the seat itself um i ran the wires through the bottom as you can see through here and then all you have to do is really just connect it to this wire to this harness right here the yellow one sorry so it just goes like this uh with this you won't have to worry about the code for your seat belt itself you're still going to get codes for airbags and whatnot but it's just one less code so go ahead and connect that after you connect that um the seat is ready to get bolted down so we'll go ahead and do that all right so we got the passenger seat in driver's seat is in looking mint um gonna wire the harness right here really fast to this thing and then from there bolt it in and i'll show you what it's looking like it's looking pretty cool so far i'm pretty excited so all right guys check it out and um now it's kind of hard to see but here are the new seats I think they look amazing. They go good with the black details on the car and the new doors and whatnot. Yeah. Let me know what you think, if you think it was worth it. Um, so the back seats, I ended up putting them in and I actually took them out just because after I lifted these race seats, um, I realized that the back cover was way heavier than the seats themselves, which made me not want to place them in there. Um, I think I'm going to try to see if I can come up with some sort of way to make like a foam uh, cover, like a rear seat delete. Um, if I can, I'll end up putting it, the seats back on and I'll show you guys. But regardless, part three will be how to, how to set up the back end. And if I can find any more plastic trim pieces, I'll end up showing you how to do that as well. I'm going to connect the battery and then I'll show you some of the codes that are going to come up if you end up putting race seats. And I'll show you how you can code those out as well. All right, so we have the seats set up. Uh, let's say you're pretty much done, whatever your goal is. And all your, your main goal is to put in the race seats. Um, you're gonna end up getting some codes. I don't know if they're popping up right now, but you will get some codes. My favorite way to go about fixing those codes or getting rid of them, coding them, whatever you want to call it, um, is through a MHD Wi-Fi adapter. You can also use a cable like this where it'll connect into the OBD2 and then this one will connect into your phone. Um, but you will for sure need an Android phone this app only works with android it's not going to work with an iphone which so yeah you need an android it can be a tablet whatever then you're going to want to use this app right here pro tool click on it looks like this you'll press the wi-fi auto detect the chassis and connect it'll start identifying your car and then as soon as it's ready it'll say connection established if you want to look at all the codes on your car just press read vehicle errors what you want to look at is the airbag modules so you have the side airbag left side airbag right and the occupancy detector passenger and you know those are under mrs it says right there so we're gonna go back sorry safety mrs airbag then you're gonna go to coding edit coding all right to get rid of the first code i went over to this one right here that said right side airbag um, I clicked on it and it was enabled, I disabled it. After I finalized it, I was able to read the codes. And it looks like there's only two more left. The side airbag left. Left side airbag right here. That's one of the codes. Just disable it, finalize. 
It looks like we're still getting the seat occupancy detector, so we're gonna look for that one. All right, so what you wanna do is disable both of these seat mat sensors, and those are just gonna make sure that the computer knows that you don't have those extra harnesses connected and it doesn't throw any codes on you. All you wanna do is finalize again. It says coding finalized. After you cycle it, go back, check your work, read errors. Cool, so as far as safety, MRS airbags, read errors, there's no more errors, so we did it. Um, we should be good to go as far as the airbags and the race seats. So yeah, congrats, we finished putting in either black seats or race seats. So yeah, after it's coated, you can take off your appliances, turn off the car, and you're pretty much good to go. You shouldn't be getting any more codes or anything weird like that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. The interior is looking really nice with the blast the black seats I think and the die is looking like it's sitting well into the carpet so I'm not too bummed I do want to come up with the solution for this but that'll be in the next video for part three so yeah uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I know it's kind of boring because they're just DIYs and it's following along just doing stuff not the most entertaining um, but they do help people who don't know exactly what they're doing and we try to be thorough with it and it also just kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting yourself into before you jump in and take some of these projects subscribe if you liked it like the video and i'll try to get you some more footage here soon we are going to be looking for that center console as well as making a rear seat delete for the back so yeah stay tuned subscribe and i'll check you out next time